Hello and good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas number 12, the last one. As I'm filming this, today is December 22nd. So this is gonna be kind of like my last normal day before the Christmas festivities begin because we've got Christmas on the 25th, obviously. Then we're hosting Christmas Eve at our house on the 24th. And then tomorrow on the 23rd, we're doing Christmas at my brother's house because his wife, my sister-in-law is a nurse and she's working on Christmas Eve and Christmas. So we're doing a Christmas with them tomorrow. So today is gonna be like my last day for that last minute Christmas prep, the wrapping. I have a couple like things that I need to make for gifts. And also today's Steven's last day of work before he is uh, taking off until next year, which sounds weird to say, but you know, until until New Year's. So I'm gonna be hanging with Grace today. I was thinking we'd start off our morning um, just playing at the house and then maybe go on a little nature walk before her nap. And then during her nap, I'm gonna try to get some of that Christmas prep done and then we'll probably continue that together in the afternoon. So that is the plan for the day. Um, Steven's with Grace right now, but I'm supposed to tap him out in three minutes so he can get ready for work. Number 22, Santa. Santa on the Christmas tree. We get to do that one on Christmas Eve. Wanna do number 22? Nicely done. Do you wanna put it on the tree? Nicely done. Just one, one every day. We just finished up having some yogurt for breakfast and then we did our advent calendars. These are just the little chocolate ones from Trader Joe's. And these have been one of the most consistent holiday traditions for Steven and one of his favorites. As soon as Trader Joe's has these in stores, Steven's mom is like there buying one for everyone in the family. From the year Steven and I started dating, she got one for me as well. And then um, this year she got one for Grace. Since last year, you know, six months old, not eating chocolate. But this year I would say it's been one of Grace's like favorite little, you know, holiday activities. She, she asked to, the book. You want to go read a book? Let's go read a book. But yeah, Grace, Grace loves these. Okay, book? Yeah, let's go do a book. Which story would you like? Snow White, okay. Say, hmm, where's Snow White's story? Hmm. 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 Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Long ago in a faraway place. Okay, the first one's gonna be purple. Yes, purple, very good. Yay, you did it. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Nice dance moves. I went to grab my water cup and when I came back, Grace was like fully immersed in her independent play. So I'm gonna let her do that and I'm gonna just tidy up the nursery a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys what I did uh, a couple days ago. I wasn't vlogging that day. I reorganized her dresser. So all of her drawers, all of her clothes cleaned out, reorganized, and took out all of the clothes that uh, don't fit her anymore. So I am feeling good about that. It had been a while. Like I've been trying to do that for Grace pretty much every time she moves up a size. You know, filter out the stuff that doesn't fit and then also do uh, a reorganization. But as she's gotten older, it's no longer like a clean cut. Like, okay, you're for sure out of this size and into this size. So I hadn't done it in probably six months. I think since the summer. What do you need help with? A block? Which one? There you go, my love. Um, but it was really great to get that done, especially before Christmas, because if she gets any new clothes, the uh, the organizational system is ready for it. Um, and we also did the same with her toys, which was really good. Although the organization for that gets thrown for a loop a lot quicker than the clothes. So, but the cleaning out part for the toys, that, that made the biggest difference. I've got this bin of um, all of the stuff that doesn't fit Grace anymore, but that we wanna keep for possible baby number two. And then this box was, supposed to be donations. I mean, it is donations, but um, Grace was having a lot of fun pushing this around the house, like just along the floor. So she started filling it up with all of her favorite toys. So now, <laughs> exhibit A. <laughs> Gracie, this is a box for toys that we're not keeping. So we should take the toys that we like playing with out so we can keep them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why don't we put them in this basket and push them around the house? That way they don't get mixed up and accidentally donated. So yeah, um, I need to kind of go back through this box and make sure that everything in here, the clothes, yes, I did all of that, but the toys, I need to make sure nothing else got lost in the mix. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah, ah, ah. Up, 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 yeah. Oh, now he's going down the chimney. Down. Hi. Hi, Santa. 
Santa? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. And he has a hat, that's right. And a nose, just like you. And Bella has a nose. <laughs> and eyes, yes she does. And ears, yeah, she likes when you scratch her ears. Oh, good Bella. Would you like to give her gentle pets? Okay, gentle pets. Yeah, good, good job. Fun. All right, we just wrapped up like two hours of playtime. So now we're gonna head out for our nature walk. I told Grace to go pick a toy for the car. What are you gonna bring, Elmo? Okay, we're on our nature walk. And it is a beautiful day. Oh, Grace, look, this tells us all about the monarch habitat. Maybe we should plant some of those plants in our garden this year. What do you think? Now we're having some playtime at the park. Are we gonna climb up, up, up? Up, up. I brought this little cheese and fruit box from Starbucks with us, which we are both enjoying. Bye. All right, it is a little after one o'clock now. Grace is napping. I've been doing some editing. Actually, I just finished the rough cut of this vlog so far, everything that I filmed this morning. So now I'm going to power down and uh, go over to that table to do um, a couple little DIY things that I have for some Christmas gifts. Okay, so um, the way that Stephen and I decided to do Christmas gifts for Grace was that she would have a stocking from Santa and then from us, we would do three gifts. So we could each pick one individually and then decide on the third one together. So I already showed you guys our two individual picks in um, previous vlogs. Steven chose an Ariel doll and I chose those like really cool modular connect tiles, I think they're called. Which by the way, so many of you in the comments of that vlog where I got those were just raving about them and how much your kids love them. So thank you for that. I am feeling uh, extra confident in that purchase now. Um, but the third gift, the third gift I had not shown yet. I'm, I'm so excited for this. I think she's gonna love it. It is a mega fort set. So it has three of these pop-up tents and then it also comes with two pop-up tunnels that you can use to connect the forts. And I feel like this kind of thing is, it's just, it's such like a staple kids thing. I had one growing up. Steven said he had the same. And that was just the pop-up tents, not the tunnels. But then the tunnels is what really sold us because they do like uh, a tunnel set up at Grace's gymnastics class. And that's easily one of her favorite activities there. She loves crawling through them. So I'm, we're really excited about this for her. But anyways, that's, this is really not what the DIY is about. But original plan was three gifts. We now actually Actually are doing a fourth because I had bought this super cute little ballerina doll to put in Grace's stocking. So I was like, how cute, right? Perfect. Then like three days later, the brochure for all of um, next year's like first quarter activities for our city went out. And I saw that there's a dance class for one and a half year olds, which that's how old Grace is. It's one and a half to two and a half. And it's a parent and me ballet class. I decided to go ahead and sign up race for it. So part of the class is they have to come in, you know, a pink leotard and tights and ballet shoes. So I bought all of that for Grace. So she's got this cute little pink leotard, little tiny pink tights and little tiny ballet shoes. And also this cute little like wrap around dance skirt. And when I was looking at what I had bought for her stocking and I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I should totally just wrap up the ballet wear and put the doll inside. So then she can see like, this is a ballerina. These are your ballerina clothes. Like you're gonna go to a ballet class and package it all together as another gift. And then I wanna make her like a little, like a little ticket or a little coupon that says, you know, something about the dance class. So that's where the DIY element comes in. So I went to the craft store last night and I got some pink paper. I've got, this is also for another gift. Actually, there are three DIY things I have to make. This is just one, um, but we've got some of this cool gold 
foil paper, pink with the gold foil, pink sparkly, we've got options. Um, so I want to make her some sort of, you know, little thing for the dance class. And then tonight I can wrap this all up together to tell her that she's going to do a dance class in January. I need to make that. And then the other two things I have to make, one for my mom. Um, one of the gifts I got for my mom is doing a ceramics class at the Fire and Mud Studio with me and Kenzie and Kenzie's mom. And actually my mom and Kenzie's mom are friends. They were friends before Kenzie and I were friends. We didn't even know. They were part of like a, like a hiking group together. And I remember shortly after Kenzie and I became friends, we were like mind blown that our, our moms were posting Facebook photos together. We were like, how do you know each other? But um, anyways, we thought it would be fun to all do the class together. So I'm gonna make my mom some sort of fun, cheesy little coupon. I could just print out the order confirmation, but I, I like to add a little razzle dazzle sometimes. And then the third thing, this is the one, this is the one that's gonna take some, some trial and error, I think. So my dad for Christmas this year, when he sent us his Christmas list, he had a bunch of, you know, typical things. And then also he said that he would love to go to one of the Pokemon Go Fest events this year, which basically for those who, uh, for those who are not Pokemon masters, um, basically there's like an in-person festival in a big city. And this year there's one in Vegas. So it's, bas it's basically like an in-person festival that you buy a ticket for that also gets you access to special things within the Pokemon Go app while you're playing there. And my dad and I, like, we kind of joked about like, oh, we should go to the one in Seattle. I think there was also one in Chicago. But you know, whenever we would get the notification, we kind of talk about it. We'd be like, we're not going to fly all the way out there. But when I saw that on his Christmas list, and then I saw that it was in Vegas, and it's in February, and both of our calendars are free, I talked to Steven about it, and we decided that that's what we would get my dad for Christmas this year. So I conspired with my mom. She's going to come too, and we're all going to drive out to Vegas together, stay there for two days, and uh, play a lot of Pokemon Go. So I had this idea on how to tell him that we're going to Vegas for Pokemon Go Fest. We've got the hotel, we've got the tickets. And I thought, what if I bought a pack of Pokemon cards and then took a piece of craft paper and made my own Pokemon card, like in the exact same shape and size, wrote something on it about how like, oh, you won a free ticket to Pokemon Go Fest with your daughter, these states, like something cheesy like that. And then open the Pokemon cards, put that back in and try to at least reseal it some way, even if I just tape it. Like it doesn't have to look good, but just like somewhat closed back up. That way when he opens his gift, sees the Pokemon cards, opens it up, boom, you thought you were getting Pokemon cards? Nope, I mean, yep, but mainly we're going to Pokemon Go Fest together, <laughs> which by the way, oh my gosh, I am so excited for that. My dad and I have been playing Pokemon Go together since literally the day it came out. We've done so many of the event days together, so many community days, so many raids. And also, um, you know, growing up, my dad traveled a lot for work and sometimes I would get to travel with him and we just always had so much fun traveling together. And in recent years, the few times that I've traveled with him playing Pokemon Go while we travel. TBT to uh, the Spain vlogs where my dad and I were hunting down Mr. Mimes. <laughs> but all this to say, I think, you know, that aspect is really gonna make this trip extra special being that now I get to be the one to take him on a trip and I, I'm just really excited to get to do that and to get to play Pokemon together. But all right, let's craft. <laughs> My coupons are done. Now I'm gonna uh, package these up together. I'll package these up. I've also got some other wrapping here that I would like to get to. But we'll see how long this nap is because it's already been an hour and a half.
right, it is a couple hours later now. Grace is awake. We're having some playtime in the nursery. I got a lot of that wrapping done. There's just a couple presents left, so. Oh, is that for me? Oh, thank you, a hairbrush. What do I do with it? Yeah, I brush my hair. Brush, brush, brush. Here, now you can brush your hair. Um, I'm debating if I wanna try to wrap those last few presents with Grace. <laughs> yes, that's what you wanna do, or if I wait till later tonight. You wanna help wrap presents? Okay, yeah, let's try it. I think you'd have fun with it. Okay, do you wanna play more or do you wanna go wrap the presents now? Yeah. Wrap the presents, okay. <laughs> well, guess we're gonna try it now. I'm gonna wrap these shirts for Uncle Jojo and I want you to practice your wrapping. You can wrap this toy with some of this paper. Look, you rip it and then you can wrap it around your toy. It's a present, <laughs> you like that? Yeah, okay, you practice that. I'm gonna wrap this. Well, the wrapping was minorly successful. We did get one gift wrapped. <laughs> now it's a little after 4.30 and Grace and I are hanging on the couch watching some Frozen. Steven gets off from work in like half an hour, so I think we're just gonna hang here and have some screen time until then. And then we'll have some family play time, we'll make dinner, and I will uh, continue with my Christmas prep when Grace is asleep for the night. Mm. Now she's feeding tea and cookies to her skeleton. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, we listen to some Christmas music and watch the Christmas tree. Steven's off in five minutes. Oh, would you make me a cup of tea? Mm, that would just hit the spot right now. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome into my office. It is approaching 9 p.m. We got Grace to sleep and then Steven and I just had a little financial meeting. Now he's playing video games. I finished all of my wrapping. All of my gifts are ready for Christmas. And then I, I had just sat down to edit this vlog some more and I realized that I, I totally forgot I had I planned to go to Trader Joe's tonight. I wanted to get some stuff for Christmas Eve and I it, now it closes in like literally five minutes. So I can't make it tonight and I'm pretty bummed because I, I wanna go to Trader Joe's specifically because I wanna do a cheese board, you know me. Any opportunity for a cheese board, I'm taking it. <laughs> and the Trader Joe's cheeses are my favorite, but I know that now every day leading up to Christmas, the grocery stores are just gonna get like more and more chaotic. So I'm trying to decide if I should go shopping tonight and just go to a different grocery store or if I should wait and go tomorrow evening, the 23rd, or I could go tomorrow morning and just take Grace with me. I mean, she likes going to the grocery store. So yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So then tonight, um, I'm probably gonna edit for like another hour or so. And then at 10.30, Steven and I are gonna uh, watch Andor together downstairs. So I was thinking before that I could um, take all of these stocking stuffers for Steven and Grace and also Bella and Bruiser out of their hiding place and show you guys everything that I got for the stockings since this is uh, the last video of our Vlogmas. And I just love, I love doing the stockings. Something about like just getting all the little trinkets and the little toys. I just love it. Like I loved helping my mom do it for my little brother. I've loved doing one for for Steven every year that we've been dating and now getting to do a stocking for Grace, it, it just compounds the magic. So I'd, I'd like to do that. I think that's a, a fun thing to document, fun thing to share. But first we gotta edit y'all cause I, I wanna try and knock out as much of this as I can so that the, the work that I have to do and the finishing touches I have to add tomorrow is uh, as minimal as possible. All right, the fire is going. I've got all the stocking stuffers laid out here. So, uh, you know, let, let's start with Steven. So First, we've got an M&M candy cane and some Reese's trees. These, I'm gonna be splitting between Steven and Grace's stockings. Then we've got two of his favorite snacks, beef jerky and the Dots honey mustard pretzels. We've got a, a nice three-piece pajama set from Costco. I also got Steven this little foam dart blaster. I feel like these kind of things are always so fun. And even though we're adults, like having a toy to play with on Christmas morning, you never grow out of it. So fun. <laughs> also for Steven's stocking, but really I kind of I kind of present everything around the stocking. I like to set it up so it looks all nice. Because obviously this isn't gonna fit in the actual stocking. But I got him a PlayStation controller mug. So if you can see, hold on. The handle like looks like a PlayStation controller. I thought this was just like so Steven. And then last thing for his stocking, if you saw my uh Christmas shopping vlog, I think that was vlogmas number nine. If you didn't, I'll link it in the description, but 
I got this for Steven. His home office is uh, very much Star Wars themed, so I thought this was fitting. And that is Steven's stocking. I'd like to I'd like to do a little bit of everything. You know, some candy, some snacks, some uh, more practical things, and of course, a, cu a couple just fun things. Now, for the dogs, I got them one of these dog toy stockings at Target because I feel like this is a good variety of things that I, I say the dogs will like, but really Bella. Bruiser doesn't really do toys. Bella, all about toys. Bruiser would much rather just curl up on a cozy blanket, but Bella, I think is gonna love all these toys. And then Grace also wanted to pick out a toy for them. And she was really drawn to this little gingerbread and a little coffee cup, and I thought they were cute too. And then they're also getting some greenies. Okay, now Grace. I am so excited about her stocking. Not to like toot my own horn, but toot toot, I feel like I did a really good job. <laughs> And I just had so much fun with it. Okay, so first thing is a Disney princess water bottle. She actually uh, pointed this out in the gift shop when we went back in November and she was just so excited about it, but we didn't buy it then. So a couple weeks later when I went back, I, uh, I bought this for her during her nap. And then I wanted to get her a pair of slippers for outside because a lot of the times in the morning or the evening, you know, she'll take the dogs out with me or we'll go outside to play or we'll go on you know a little walk around the neighborhood get the mail and depending on the time of year sometimes she'll just go barefoot sometimes she'll slip on shoes but I was like you know what I think slippers would be a nice little bridge for that and then I saw these Elmo slippers <laughs> And Grace is obsessed with Elmo. So Elmo slippers it is. Also, it says on the tag, I literally just saw this. It doubles as a puppet if you put it on your hand. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> then I got her some finger puppets. And these, there are four here. These actually came in a set of eight. So we've got the mouse, the panda, the cow, the dog. And then there was also like a rabbit, a chicken, a duck. And so I decided instead of giving them all to her for Christmas, I'd pull out the more you know, spring Eastery ones. And then those can go in her Easter nest. So these are the ones that are going in her stocking. And then I got her a new book, uh, Where's Spot? This series of like books, and I think they had a bunch of VHSs too, of Spot. This was like such a big part of my childhood. I just loved it. So I went to Barnes and Noble. I wanted to get a board book for Grace's stocking. And I was like, oh my gosh, Spot. And she loves books. She's very much in a book phase right now. Oh my gosh, okay. And then the next two things, these these, these are very much another phase that she's in right now. Grace loves jewelry. When anyone is wearing something, she wants to see it, she wants to grab it. If there's like anything that she can turn into a bracelet, like hold on. She has these rings like for her stacker and she likes, she just puts them on her wrist and then like pretends it's a bracelet. She loves them, but uh, Grace is not yet at an age where it would really be safe for her to have normal jewelry. You know, all the small pieces can come apart. They can be a choking hazard. The string itself can be a, a strangulation hazard. So finding age appropriate jewelry that's still like fun and vibrant was a challenge, but I, I think I did it. These Doug and Melissa dress up play necklaces. So fun, so colorful. They've got like all the different gems and stuff, but there's not any actual loose pieces. Everything is connected in one and it's structured. It's one piece of plastic. It's not actually a circle. It's like open in the back. So she can put these on and play dress up and have fun, but in a way that's safe. So I, I think this is gonna be a big winner of the stocking. I think she's gonna love these. And then I also got her these uh, crystal bangles to go with them. And then the last thing for her stocking is the little doodle board that I got um, also in the shopping vlogmas video. So it's cute. It's got this little clip so it can like clip on the diaper bag or anything. And then you can just draw on this. And when you're done drawing, you click the nose and it goes away. So that is everything in Grace's stocking plus um, a couple of the Reese's trees. And that is everything for everyone's stocking except mine. Steven does my stocking so I do not know what's gonna be in it, but I'm excited to see. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also just Vlogmas 2022 in general. It was so much fun and also, you know, pretty easy. Like previous years, December has been really stressful and overbooked for me trying to do daily vlogs, but doing the 12 days, like just 
really made it feel relaxed and and fun for me. Oh, hold on, don't don't look for me. <laughs> Steven just came in. It's actually is the last vlogmas. The last. One. Yeah, here come sit on this side or that side. That's that's right. Is this the last one for the year? Yeah, last oh. one for the year. Oh, you did so good this year. Oh, I was thank you. I was uh, very busy with work this December. Um, so I didn't do my Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've personally addressed that. I've been a little ashamed about it. I talked about it. I know, I know. But I personally haven't said anything. Yeah. Anyways, I, I love you. I'm so excited. Stop. <laughs> I forgot to hide something. <laughs> don't look. Like, wait a I thought I shoved everything under that box, but I left out one of the snacks. Oh, I see so. some of my favorite treats down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. And uh, have a great new year. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see you on the other side. We will. We'll see you in 2023 or maybe we'll do one vlog after because i'm getting my hair cut but that'll probably be in the new year what do you think grace grace oh. <laughs> i'm not tired i swear steven looked right at this beautiful creature and said grace you're not grace anyways um peace out bye, bye. <laughs>